today we are going to take a closer look at romantic music, which of course is all about love and romance and, and no wait, no that can't be right. The romantic era was about putting emotion back into art. The classical period had been very rigid and strict and the romantic era pushed against that. Now the romantic era was from the year 1820 to 1900 and some historical context for this time in the US there was the Civil War and all over the world there were countries fighting for independence. There was also the booming industrial revolution which made instruments easier to manufacture as well as more readily available to the world as a whole. Now visual art at this time was more abstract and free, it was less exact and more emotional as you can see in this example here. Music in this era was written to express, you guessed it, thoughts and emotions and feelings. But along with that, many composers wrote nationalistic music to show their patriotism and love of their country. These composers would study folk music of their country and use themes and tonal patterns from that music to influence their orchestral works. Now, the music could represent countries, but music in this time also could represent pictures or describe something. And we see this very frequently in orchestral music of the day. Now, orchestras at this time were exploding. They were significantly larger than the orchestras that we saw in the classical era. And the music played by the orchestras became much more difficult and technical as music schools opened up around the country. Composers would write orchestral music called program music that would paint beautiful pictures using music instead of paint and could often tell a story without words. Similarly, they would write something called a symphonic poem, which was one movement of music that could sometimes last as long as an hour, and it would tell the story of a poem using only music. Now, it's no surprise that in the Romantic era, with this increased desire to express emotions, poems became very popular. And composers saw that and would take the text of a poem, combine it with a short piano piece and a solo voice singing, and create art songs or leader. Not leader like a general or a politician, but lead is the German word for song, and leader is the plural of that. Now, if I've said it once, I have said it a thousand times, the Romantic era emphasized emotion and story. So it's no surprise that opera blossomed during the Romantic era. The casts were much larger than they had been in the classical era, and the orchestra played a huge role in the telling of the story. Operas were much more over the top with the costumes and the scenery and the sets and just the dramatic flair of the entire production. And they used all of these to emphasize the story itself. That is all for the Romantic Era. Thanks for listening.